Do you ever wake up in the morning and take a look at your crypto portfolio and ETC pow keeps going down? At the all time highs, we were looking at getting close to $3. Right now we're looking at 11 cents. That one hurts. Fortunately, if you picked up a PC and you purchased a digital license like me and you're running that node, it's still earning right now, which is great. It's not worth anything. Maybe it'll come back, maybe it doesn't. But what you can do is buy a license for a different project and run it on the same PC. This will allow you to dual mine using the same hardware. The only additional cost would be the license. The license I'm looking at right now is Fry's Crypto. Fry's Crypto allows you to run their satellite miner, which is going to be a USB enabled device that you can just plug into that same PC, install the software and you're dual mining on that same PC because you might want to stack ETC pow because maybe it comes back. The project is still around and there's a lot of development going on it. I'm not bullish on it and I've always been a little bit worried if you take a look at my previous videos, uh, but it is just a crypto project that could do something big in the next bull run. That said, Fry's Crypto is in the deep in space. They're gathering data in every single aspect. And this time we're going to double down our earnings on the same PC. The PC I'm using right now meets the minimum requirements. This is a micro HP elite desk PC. It's not very powerful, but it's definitely more than enough. I need to get the ETC MC node up and running and the Fry's Crypto Miner up and running. Maybe you've already set up an ETC MC node and you don't need the installation step. So you can skip further down into the video. I'll note that time right over here. Uh, you can just jump to that. But if you're starting from scratch and you still want to mine ETC POW and you want to dual mine using the Fry's Crypto, I'll show you the entire process right now. It's actually pretty simple and I'll walk you through that. So this is a fresh install of Windows. I'm going to go open up my browser. You want to make sure that you have a wallet installed. I'm going to install MetaMask. So I'll go ahead and install that and we'll jump over to the next step. MetaMask is installed and now I'm going to add the Ethereum Classic Network to it. Done. We'll switch over to Ethereum Classic. To get some ETC, I'm going to be using my favorite exchange, which is going to be ZegX. Okay, so I'm here inside ZegX to buy some Ethereum Classic. So I just need to find out how much the license costs. I'm going to go over to the ETCMC website. I'm going to jump over to the ETCMC store, and this is going to let me know how much my license is going to cost. And this is the digital license right over here. And it is 234 pounds or 299 USD. Ethereum Classic is at $25 right now. I'm going to buy about $305 worth of it because I want to cover transaction fees. Uh, that will be 11.87 ETC. So I'll be, I'll round that up. I'll buy 12 uh, ETC and I'm going to send that to my MetaMask wallet. So it's now in my MetaMask wallet. It's a little over $300. Uh, I did that just to cover transaction fees and anything else that might happen in the future. I'll make sure I link this URL in the description below so you can quickly get to the site. The first thing we want to do is connect our wallet. So I'll go ahead and connect my MetaMask wallet. I'm happy to see this. Even with all the FUD, they're still developing. They're still trying to grow, which is a very positive sign if you're in the project. So I've already connected my wallet. You can see that my balance of a little over 12 ETCs in here. And what we want to do is we're going to be selecting the ETC POW token. I'm going to basically move almost everything over, just move over 12. I'm just going to leave a little bit on the back end, which is going to give me 2,631. And that is going to be more than enough to buy the license. So I'll go ahead and I'll swap that. I don't mind if I have a little extra. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to confirm the transaction. If you don't already have the ETC POW token on your MetaMask wallet, right over here, you get a link that you can click on add to your MetaMask and it'll import it for you if you don't already have it. So you can add it like this and click on the add token and just confirm under tokens. There we go. So we have the ETC POW. I can now go ahead and buy my digital license. So I'm going to go back up here at the top. Okay. So I'm back over here and I can say purchase with ETC POW and then click on connect. Uh, the exact amount that it's going to take is 2,559. Click on confirm. Okay, perfect. It's done. We can click on okay. I now get the option to download the software. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me over to another page where it's going to ask me to put in my name and my email. All right, so I'm over here at the download page. We're looking at version 1.24. Click on download and it's going to download the software onto our PC. So the download's complete. We can go ahead and double click on it to open it up. Just minimize these windows. Okay, we get a Windows protect message and click on more info and then run anyway. 
and we get this user account control. We're going to say yes to that. And I'm going to be using all default settings. So I'll go ahead and click on next, create a shortcut, sure, and then install. Okay, so what's complete, we'll click on the finish button over here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch this one. We'll say yes. And uh, just to make sure there's no other versions out there, I'm going to click on check for update. I'm using the latest version, which is good. And then we can go ahead and launch our client. And we can click on earn ETC POW, and that's going to get up and running. We just want to allow access and let it connect to the network. So we just went through the steps of getting our ETC POW node up and running. It looks like it's looking for peers. Uh, what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm just going to close this off because what we're going to do is we're also going to install the Fry software. So I'm going to close out of here by saying stop node and the node has now stopped. So I can go ahead and close out of this window and close out of the launcher and I'm back here at the desktop. So the license that I'm going to be buying is going to be for the Fry indoor satellite miner. I have my GPS USB dongle. And if you go down over here, you can see that you can have up to five indoor satellite miners in the same location. So if you have five PCs, you can get five PCs up and running, dual mining, Fry, and another token like ETCMC. All right, we're at the Fry website. I'm doing the indoor satellite miner. Want to go over to the hardware section and we want to go into downloads because we're going to download the software for a satellite miner. Click on the indoor satellite miner option right over here. And we're at the download screen. We just have to click on the download link. And that's going to take a moment here to download. All right, so we have the software download. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it on my desktop. I'm in my downloads folder over here. I'm just going to take this and drag it onto my desktop. I have my USB satellite miner physically plugged into my computer. And now that we have it plugged in, we can go ahead and begin the installation of the Fry software. So I'm going to go ahead and run this as administrator so there's no issues. Click on more info and then run anyway. Okay. And then we have the welcome wizard. I'm just going to click on next and the installation path, I'm going to click on next. I'm using default for the installation path and it's going to want to go ahead and install Node.js. We'll just continue with that by clicking on next all the way and installing it. And the Node.js portion is complete and now it wants to install uBlocks. I'll click on I agree, click on install. Okay, so that's complete. It's going to run use to center, but I'm just going to minimize that uh, because we want to complete the installation right over here. Now it wants to do 7-zip. We'll go ahead and click on that, let it install, click on OK. And it's just going to continue going all through the process. So it says Fry satellite installation now complete. We can click on next and that portion is done. Now what we want to do is go ahead and register our device. Okay. And over here at the Fry Foundation website, I'm going to go over to the shop and then I'm going to go to the BYOD licenses. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and connect my Para wallet. Just need to scan it over here. So it's connected to my phone. I just need to put in my email address and I can go ahead and buy the license. Now, when you're buying the license, it's going to be $105, but you have to do it in $52.50 worth of Elgo and $52.50 worth of Fry. So it's going to be 50-50. You have to have a little bit of each. The best place I think to buy both in one spot is going to be Zegex. You can buy your Elgo here and you can buy your Fry here in one spot. So I'm going to use my Parrot wallet. I'm going to complete the transaction and then I can close out of this window. So once you've received the email and you got your license, we're going to go over here to the BYOD Miner Resources. And under Registration, we're going to be selecting the Indoor Satellite Miner. And you're going to go ahead and put it, your information in here, including your BYOD license. All right, so it says that it's going to take up to seven days. So if you don't see any fry right away, it's because it's still going through its processing procedure. It can take up to seven days. It's I've seen it happen faster than that. But that's just a quick heads up so you know what's happening here. And that's it. We're up and running. That's a low powered solution. The micro PC that I'm using uses 90 watts. So I'm mining two different cryptos at 90 watts. That's incredibly efficient. I'm going to be stacking both coins because I don't know what's going to happen. And if they both take off in the bull run, we can be looking at a 5 to 10x on our earnings. And that's fantastic. I'm going to be updating my blog to show multiple dual mining options because I prefer to make the most out of a single device. And if I can stack different projects on top of each other using the same hardware, then that's what I'm going to do. And if I have multiple PCs all doing different projects, it just becomes more profitable overall. That's all there is to it. We're now earning ETC POW and FRY with one device. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.